in an emergency like the Aurora Theater tragedy. Now the Aurora Fire Department's coming under fire for not moving in quickly enough to rescue the most critically injured patients. Some police officers became so frustrated waiting for ambulances that they began acting against their own prescribed policy, loading those victims into their own vehicles themselves. But did policies really slow down first responders? Fox 31 Denver's Dave Young gets your questions answered. First, Aurora police units were on scene at the Century Theater within two minutes of the shootings. I've got a child victim. I need rescue at the back door of Theater 9 now. I have three parties shot over here. Okay, where's that going to be? But as precious minutes ticked away, ambulances still had not reached the back of Theater 9, where many of the most critically wounded were. The theater is secure. We're bringing out bodies now. Get someone to the back as soon as you can. Rescue personnel. I got like three to seven hits. We need rescue to move up to the rear of the theater. We have officers there. Uh, we're requesting they come immediately for multiple victims. That was 19 minutes after the shootings, when many officers had already begun transporting wounded in their patrol cars. Metro 10, Lincoln 25. Do I have permission to start taking some of these victims via, via car? I got a whole bunch of people shot out here. No rescue. Cruiser 6 is taking two more victims. Let's get some police cars back here on the east side so we can get victims transported. If I had a would have waited for the ambulance, I probably would have lost my leg. Um, so the cop was, this, yeah, the, the cop came and took me um, to the hospital. We have one, we cannot move in theater nine. Get an ambulance crew in here as soon as they're available. Aurora Fire Rescue Protocol says rescue crews have to wait for a declaration the scene is safe before entering an active shooting crime scene. That policy was criticized at this Aurora apartment shooting in 2010 when a man lay bleeding for more than 20 minutes before he was transported by rescue crews. The policy was modified to allow local fire rescue commanders to decide. Now some in law enforcement are criticizing it again in the wake of this tragedy. Let Aurora South know that Cruiser 6 is on route 1 critical, 1 uh, semi-critical. But given the chaos at the scene and with the massive number of casualties, getting ambulances to specific spots while so many patients were being treated may have been next to impossible. Dave Young, Fox 31, Denver. Tonight, the city of Aurora is responding to the reports of slow response for the first time. The city issued a statement saying, quote, scene safety created no delay in the treatment and transport of victims on July 20th. The first ambulance arrived at the scene within three minutes and the first two fire units within five minutes after the first call to fire dispatch. Personnel from both immediately began treating patients. The statement went on to say Aurora plans to review every aspect of the response and learn from it, but said they were confident that everyone did all they could under the circumstances. All right, well, let's... Uh